So here's the answer. It turns out if you approach a planet from behind. Okay. Okay. There it is orbiting the sun. Right. And you approach it from behind in its orbit. Right. Not only will the gravity pull you in, mm -hmm. but you will gain speed just to catch up with the planet in its orbit. That makes sense. Yes. Right. H how are we going to catch up? How are we going to hit the planet, come near the planet, unless you have the planet's orbital speed? Right. The planet's orbital speed has nothing to do with the planet. With the planet's gravity. Correct. Right. As okay, so even though the gravity is symmetric, all the speed and energy you gain falling in, the planet takes back away from you, that's right. symmetric. Right. But the speeds you get from catching up with the planet in the orbit is not symmetric. Raw, look at that. Okay, and so what actually happened is you were tugging on the planet, okay? as the planet was moving and you were speeding up because of this. But what it means is you stole some of the planet's orbital energy to do this. Wow. They don't tell you about that. That's No, they don't. So you basically, you approach the planet from behind <laughs> and you just like- Don't make a ghetto yo, mugging out of this. Yo, <laughs> yo, give me some of that speed. Don't turn around, don't look at my face. Don't look don't at, my, look at face. my face. <laughs> Just give me the speed. <laughs> Nobody needs to get hurt here. <laughs> and then you take it and you keep and going and, and you got it. the thing and, and it doesn't. It. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't have it and you have it. So this these are this is the art of the of the slingshot.